Hello there, my beautiful people. Um, this is you are you are now listening to the podcast of uh, Maltese or Critic, right? Um, this is probably my very very first podcast that I've done. Uh, I've well, I've I've done some movie like um, audio reviews that back in the day, but um, this is probably the the far the, the very very first official one that uh like the first official podcast that i'm gonna be doing so it's 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 not it's not just me talking about the the latest movie that i've seen just the suicide squad okay i'm also kind of gonna be reflecting back to like the original suicide squad that nobody really wants to talk about unless you're a big fan of you know david ayer for some reason david ayer sorry if i butchered that name um so yeah, I'm, I'm getting tired now. The, 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 the caffeine pill is, 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 is wearing off my system because I ate it like 8, 8 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Um, but hey, I'm, I'm committed to, 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 to this and I'm going to pull it through. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ooh. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to drink some water before I start. Okay. So let's begin. Right, uh, the Suicide Squad. So, in case you guys didn't know, this movie came out this year in twenty twenty one. I think it came out in, in theaters and in well, it, it was in theaters like for a while, and then they kind of have to pull it out because COVID, you know, obviously. And so now you can, I think, I think now you can probably stream it. I believe. I I really hope you can you can stream it at this point because they 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 they, they really need to earn. At the very least, the bare minimum of like twice their um, production budget, because that that because that, that that's, that's usually usually how how, how movies work. Um, the production cost is like half of the actual whole budget, because the other half is pretty much the one the marketing, which is also very fucking expensive. Okay, so, but yeah, that's just how how the movie industry works. You know, not not, not a big deal whatsoever. Just the how, how things work. So. Um, yeah, it came out twenty 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 one, and people see it. I think a lot of people actually like it, which is a good, which is a good sign. That's why I'm, I'm also like, okay, maybe I might give this one a chance. Because the thing is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm already interested with, with, with seeing this because of James Gunn's name attached, because he is writing and directing the Suicide Squad movie, right? Because of, yeah, the Twitter drama thing that happened, like two years ago I think or something like that but um, that's not really something that I do I, I, I want to talk about because uh, I don't I don't really remember the exact details right so um, this movie is starring um, Viola Davis John Cena Joel Kinnaman as calling the Rick Flag Nathan Fillin Jai Courtney Flua, Flua, Flu, Flula. Sorry, I'm butchering I'm butcher your name. I'm very, very sorry. Flula Borg, Mailing and G. Or I think her name is actually Mailing Ma- Ma- Ing. Um, I don't. Oh, oh, she's a stun. She's she's a stun woman. I see. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, she plays Mangal, Pete Davidson. Margot Robbie, obviously, Idris, Idris Elba, he got, and you guys are newcomers, like, um, Daniela Malquire, Mal- 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 I hope that's her name, because I, I think I butchered it again, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not Spanish, you know, Buenos Dias, you know, um, por, por favor, seriously, por favor, if, if I butcher your name, but, um, yeah, um, but a bunch of really, really talented, talented people here. That's all I'm saying. It's very, it's a very, very, like, it's filled with very many, many talented people. Okay. So, um, let's talk about the good things I like. Mm, which is, honestly, not a lot. Okay. I it, It's honestly not a lot, if I'm be honest with you. I like... The production value with this movie because obviously it's a, it's a big budget movie so so 
it's gonna look freaking good you know everything is it looks great obviously the costumes the the, the, the visual effects set designs co- uh what else um stunts choreography yeah it's good it's very good it's very very good i like it a lot but thing is that's kind of expected from a movie that costs what like 80 million dollars 100 million let's okay let me just check the budget again how much is how much does this movie cost to make Ooh, foo, 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 budget 185 million dollars estimated that's before marketing you know cost that's that's pretty expensive okay it's a, it's a, yeah it's a pretty big budget movie and the thing is uh i'm i'm quite surprised that james james gunn is a you know the thing is here you you need you need to keep, keep okay i'm going i'm going off track a little bit you need you need to keep in mind james gunn is one of those directors who just like who's like Guillermo del toro or you know chris nolan like hey leave me the fuck alone i'm gonna do whatever the fuck i want like okay like tarantino is also not another example like leave me leave me alone please because i know what i want to do and you don't tell me what to do because this is my project this is my movie you and me agreed on a contract and you're gonna finance and that's it just shut up let me do my work because i know my stuff i know that this is gonna make money no matter what so stop poking your fucking nails on every single thing that's that's going on with the production which i, I which, which, which i think is the case in the in this movie which because I, I i legit think this is this is a this is a, this is a pretty james gunn film i would say it's very very it's 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 pretty edgy right it's pretty edgy even though it's not like the kind of edgy that you would expect from like Zack snyder's you know a oh, dark broody uh, very sinister um you know uh his 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 dc cinematic universe it's so dark and, and miserable and everyone hates each other it's such a horrible place the world is a horrible place nobody's gonna it's, it's gonna it's gonna accept you who, who you are you need to you need to man up and shit um <laughs> I, I obviously I, I was kind of just exaggerating that part okay if you are if you are offended i'm sorry but look the majority of of the public eye basically thinks that thinks the Zack Snyder universe looks like that even though i've seen almost i think yeah okay i think not i've seen all the dceu movies at this point including birds of prey um which which i actually have have something to say i have some good things about the i have some good things to say about that actually but i'll do that in the the future um but yeah um Zack Snyder movies are risk um uh Get, got a lot of negative stuff. I didn't know. It's, it's more mixed stuff. I'll, I'll say it's, it's 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 more mixed. Even though it's more on the negative side than than the positive, but still, um, yeah, it's 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 not really looking good for the whole like brand of you know this DC live action stuff, right? So it's a good thing that James Gunn is like, here. Is like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna rescue this shit. Um, <laughs> before it gets, well, actually, it's it's not it's not really going down the drain anymore. It's actually going up, like in terms of like it's 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 like reception and and like the quality itself. Um, but James Gunn pretty much he made the Suicide Squad that we're supposed to get in back in twenty sixteen. Seriously, um, right? So, um. What do I think about the movie? I think I think the movie is very very fun. The cast is very good. Uh, I'd say this the 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 one that stood out right is um is uh, is the rat catcher lady and the uh, and <laughs> and John Cena's character, which is the peacemaker. Apparently now he 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 he's, he's having his own like mini series for some reason. Even though I'm, I'm kind of confused. Of, like, okay, okay. <laughs> of, it, it's it's like it's like the character I would least expect to have like his own like spin off 
I mean, it's kind of expected if you think about it, but then again, uh, okay. I expect some more like blood sport, you know, like the the the, the discounted um that 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 shot and stuff. So oh, okay, okay, yeah, John Cena is having his own series now. The the guy with the toilet seat. Uh, by the way, this is gonna be a bit of a spoiler review, so just keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, let's see who else. Um. Oh yeah, Viola Davis. Viola Davis. Yes. <laughs> if I wanted to say, if if I want to tell you, like, okay, so like you have um, you have. You have Chris Christopher Reeves as Superman. You know, perfect casting. You have. Um, RDJ as Iron Man, perfect casting. Chris Evans, Captain America, perfect. Mwah. You know, Thor, uh, uh, Chris Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Mwah. Loki, blah, blah, blah. this this th this lady, it's fuck. He she she really really nails Amanda Waller. So Amanda Waller, the I the, the I the I am familiar with from the from from the comics, from the animated series and the and, and the and the movies. Yeah, the animated movies that nobody actually saw because, you know, it's people, people, people. The thing, the thing is, like, people think that that like, oh, cartoons. It's it's for kids, you know. And I'm not, I'm not gonna see that. Like, fuck that. It's like, oh, come on, man. You're 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 seriously missing out if you if you haven't. Okay, I I, I know I know this is this will not probably happen, but. Seriously, if 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 people would just like give just give the benefit of the doubt, you know, like maybe there's something valuable, you know, seeing cartoons, even though it's aimed for children. Um. And and and, and then you and and you know what? Uh, if if you actually started to watch like the the old Justice League, Batman the animated series, Superman the animated series, like cartoons, right? You actually you you actually realize that there's actually a lot a lot of adult themes that. I'm pretty sure it, it got brushed over children's heads pretty easily because, especially Batman. Batman is a it's a very very mature, uh, like character of a of, of of this man who is. Who actually has um like parental issues, uh, and, and like you know um, issues with like, um not not be being be, be being able to kind of um accept the fact uh like move on from his parents actually if you think about it because his sole purpose to fight crime is that oh i don't want the, uh, any other kids to like be trauma traumatized like me even though i think there's a better way to do that instead of like you putting on the suit and just beat people up you know but hey that, 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 that's that's how the character becomes popular right because it's such a it's such a mystical um concept that you wish it in a in a way, it's believable, like like it's convincing. It's not, it's not like realistic. No, it's it's just very very convincing the way they created this character from um, that was originally just a character to 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 raw to fight bad guys off from robbing banks and stuff, right? Back in the nineteen thirties with Bob Bob Kane and Jack Kirby, I think. Yeah, and I think there's also also another guy, but I forgot his name. So I'm sorry about that. I, even though I'm a pretty big Batman fan myself. So, um, here's the thing, right? I like this movie with in terms of like te technicality, you know, the, the the sets, the visual effects, costumes, blah blah blah, music, soundtrack, everything's very, 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 very good. But but I have an issue. I have an issue with. Um. The way the story is structured, I'd say, the writing is not the really the problem. It's just the way it's, um, the way it was formatted. If that makes sense, because, um, I kind of wish more actually, to be honest with you, for like someone like James Gunn, who 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 is like this really awesome director who breaks boundaries of conventional cinema in a way like guardians actually guardians of the galaxy is such a really refreshing take on like the superhero thing because it's not really a superhero show it's more like <laughs> if i'm be honest with you it, ha it has more in common with cowboy bebop <laughs> than, than yeah it, it's it's it kind of is a live action cowboy bebop but then you know it's a 
It's a, it happens to be a Marvel, Marvel, Marvel property, and it happens to be in the same world where Thor exists. You know, gods, monsters, and, and, and shit. You know, are, 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 are like roaming around the universe and stuff. But I, I'm actually kind of disappointed the way they, like the the way he structured. Okay, I I I hope it's just him because if it's more than one person, because if it's more than one person, I'm I'm actually a little bit like, oh man, they could have. They could have like communicated. I I I, I hope, but I saw because because in IMDb it only says his name, so I'm not sure who if if, there, if there's any uncredited writers. You know, I, I'm not sure. I, I'm really not. Usually, usually. Uh, let me let me just see the cast again. Um, writer, all cast and crew. Okay. Um. Yeah. He's he's the only writer. He is the screenwriter of of this film. It's it's completely under his belt, and um, the movie is structured just like another Marvel movie or another DC movie that I've seen so many times. Okay, maybe because I've seen a lot already. So when I'm looking at this, it's like ah, oh, this is not very impressive. Yeah, it's it's. It's still good, you know. I won't lie. It's 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 still a good film, you know. It's competently made. But I, in in the way that. I wouldn't want to like revisit because I want to learn something new. I want to find some some something that I can admire further, upon second viewing. Because I don't think there is. It's a it's a it's a popcorn it's a it's a popcorn flick really. It, at the end of the day, it's just a popcorn movie that's very enjoyable and very accessible for you know the majority of the audience that it's trying to aim for like teenagers young adults people who just want to have a good time you know they don't really want to think too much about continuity errors or storytelling or whatever like, like that no 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 so i think it's just my problem honestly but i i i really wish that he he would like take a bit more a bit more time and come up with like a very very crazy story that it just like oh okay oh shit you know it just like keeps on like surprising you like again and again and again you know it it, it it just keeps on like subverting your expectations again and again because that, that's basically what he did in Guardians of the Galaxy which I think this movie it kind of is trying to be at the same time too but, but obviously it's not because it's not Guardians of the Galaxy it, it's its own thing yes but um I can kind of tell that they're like I don't know. I don't know. I I I I I think I think if if he I think is I think this is the problem with like time for him. He just needs to sit down a little bit longer and 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 think of a. How can I make this really really um like emotional and very very, um. Like wow, that is really really inspiring and i want to see that movie again you know i i i don't think he probably thinks i i, I don't know maybe i'm wrong but it, it feels like he didn't really thought that much through like when like writing this it feels more like a first draft or a second draft than like a final script that was that has been through many 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 re re revisions you know but yeah it's it's okay i guess you know they deliver pretty well but uh in terms of the like the way the, the way with the story was told is, is done pretty well it's just that it's just i don't know honestly i kind of find it kind of boring it's like, oh yeah oh right catcher backstory okay here we go um oh she has a father and she that, that she lost oh, oh it's very emotional okay uh-huh okay huh right and I, oh okay oh polka dot man oh okay i want to learn more about him you know he has a really weird power like you know really weird uh, ability here uh, oh okay 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 he has mommy issues all right, all right. i want to see where this is where, where this goes oh oh they, they didn't they didn't explore that much huh hmm. it's the same thing with with like even the main characters like rat catcher and i and the blood sport in this movie um Oh boy. 
you know, for 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 a main character, Bloodsport, you you don't really have a lot of of like character, uh, like um, there there's no arc, right? Even though, like, it 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 does it does look like like through, through the whole movie he's been through like like all these crazy shit ha- happening. At least something changes within him. You know, maybe he's a bit more like compassionate or something like that. But for some for some reason, like I don't know why the ending he's like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fight this fucking giant starfish because I care about the people. Like what? That was never even established at all. Like, what are you talking about? Like, why? Why do you suddenly give a shit about these people when Amanda Waller can literally fucking kill you if you if you divert from the mission, right? Yeah. I mean, okay. Cool. The mission is complete. But then, oh, there's a giant starfish that's attacking the like like like, like the small village. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay. Well, it's just a small town, but still. Um. And then it's like. Uh, uh yeah, fuck you, Waller. I'm gonna uh you know we're not we're not gonna listen to, listen to you piece of shit. Ah like, oh, come on man, no no, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't fucking make sense. Why would you do that? It's such a fucking risky thing. I mean, we we we've seen right right. Here's the thing. Spoiler right. In the beginning we've seen like all these uh like Team B right um. Yeah yeah Team Team B, pretty much uh they. They, they they were all killed because they're they're basically they're just just just, just as pawns. They're they're there to distract the enemy from from like the the actual more more superior team, quote unquote, the superior team. Okay, uh, but again, I don't know why that why did why did Amanda Waller get uh, like put Harley Quinn there and that okay that okay Bloodsport maybe a little bit but still. Okay. He's pretty good at weapons. Wouldn't you want him to? You wouldn't. Oh wait, actually, wait. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on. Let me think. Oh, sorry. Not, 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 not Bud Sport. Uh, Rick Flag. Okay. This this guy, who has been working for your ass for a long fucking time, even the from the from the freaking first movie, right? Nope. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna put him in this ex- more in this expendable team that he might probably actually die there. There's a big chance he he would die. You know, without me pushing the button to to, well, he's not distracted or anything, but still, um, he could probably get shot pretty easily, right? Because they were surrounded every single corner with bullets flying in the air. Obviously, obviously, you will probably get shot at, at some point, right? Um, you know, he's he's in the team with uh, with with, uh, with Harley Quinn, uh, and they happen to survive. You know, with 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 plot armor, obviously. Um, but someone like okay, so yeah, yeah, you have a you have a guy who can throw like javelins. Okay, maybe that's a bit. It's it's kind of a weird. It's a weird power. I mean, yeah, he died. Okay, it makes sense because you know, <laughs> you throw a fucking javelin against like men firing hundreds of bullets to your face. Then, you also have like a, a this other group of people who also uses like you know who is like. I'm not sure about their actual power, but I'm I'm assuming they're really really good with, um, artillery, you know, like um am- like like artillery ammunition. Um, but they never show, because they're meant to be killed, okay, um, okay, fine. And then for some reason they she fucking bro- she fucking bring a weasel like what the fuck like what are you what are you thinking like what this okay, um. I, I get it that you're not supposed to take this seriously, but in the way that it has to so make still make sense within the story, like why the fuck would you wanna do this? Okay, if if okay, if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna do this right, it would be better if you have a bunch of um like inmates that are pr- are really really um like basically they don't really have skills or like whatsoever that yeah they look cool and stuff but they're they they all suck right um so they go into this so so, 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 so they go into this battle and they obviously die just like we expected okay so i mean yeah in some way like you know like the like we thought who was the main character is savant and you know like a black a black guard and like the other and like the other uh, bunch of people that 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't re really remember it that much. Um, oh yeah, Captain Boomerang actually. Um, actually Captain Boomerang, uh, from 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 what I know, like at least the new in, like interpretation. So when he when he throws the boomerang, he kind of like teleports with like with the boomerang, and then whenever it's and then he can just like stop in the like, like uh, in the middle of like the boom the boomerang is like um spinning. So actually, that, that's a pretty cool like super super power to be honest with you. It's it's kind of like the flash, but it's 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 obviously a lot a lot slower. Okay, but still, it, you you can probably use that one in in, in, in some point. But no, he fucking get killed. Uh, he, he just he just like uh, fucking um uh, crouch, you know, like on, on his knees, and then he just he just gets like chopped off by by this incoming um flaming helicopter, you know, crashing, crashing down to the ground. Like what the fuck? I was like, oh my god! Like okay, okay. To be honest with you, right? I I, I in a way I kind of wish it was like. The original one where you have like the whole team like survive who's they 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 survive. I mean, most of them survive, right? The whole thing. But no, apparently they they I mean half the star ha uh, yeah like the 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 team that I expected to like you know at least well one dies it's fine but wow everybody fucking dies okay that's kind of a waste to be honest with you because I. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know why I'm like, complaining about this for, for 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 way too long. But I'm. I'm actually quite this. I'm actually a little bit. I won't lie. I'm a little pissed off about, about this. Uh, I was like, oh, that that's kind of wasting my time actually. Like, okay, whatever. But it's fine. You know, that's not the main characters because the main characters are just as under just 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 as underdeveloped, if not, um, well, they have development a little bit, but not a lot, right? more like oh they just apparently they found some found family within the, the team that they're in or something like that or like that kind of bullshit like, um okay whatever i don't know it just feels really stale like like, like this kind of storytelling is, is is really really stale because they because gun did it better in guardians of the galaxy so what's the fucking point of like making this again but you know, arguably slightly worse. You would you would expect like me to be cheering at uh, at the at the end where they they're literally fighting a giant starfish, but no no no. Cause Polka Dot Man died. Yeah, he died. And who else died? Fucking um. <sighs> Rick Flag died actually. In case you didn't know, Rick Flag died. Um. Kind of, I mean, I kind of wanted to die, yeah, like too, because he's, 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 he's kind of a boring character, like um, uh, to be completely honest. But the ones I made out alive is like, oh, King Shark. Oh, that this is like the like their baby Groot. Haha. <laughs> yeah, he he's he's dumb. He only can say like a few words. Okay, cool. Um, shit. Seriously, I I I I don't really I don't really have a lot. Of a lot of good things to, to say about this heck even the fucking end reveal of like oh you know what you 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 know what mate you you all the team yeah um they uh you all been tricked yeah by by your by your by your supervisor that you are told to cat to 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 retrieve the, the 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 heart you know the um sorry, sorry what's the what's the fucking mission again <laughs> you can't forget either yeah you okay yeah so the, basically like what happens in the ending is like the thinker uh tells like the team is like hey you have hey uh you know y you're all whatever you're doing here you you don't think you're you're doing it for the greater good of mankind yeah or some or some bullshit like like, like or some bullshit like, like like that, and then they they said like oh no we 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 legit think this is like for a good cause like yes yes uh, jokes on you mate, jokes on jokes on you. Because um, yeah, Mando. So apparently the U.S. government is trying to hide their ass, 
of um, not, you know, trying to cover up their ass of bringing in a fucking foreign object to, to Mother Earth, and now we have to fucking contain it. And so they have to hire my ass to get involved, and now I'm involved, and I have I have to like control the fucking starfish, so like it won't you know wreak havoc or like whatsoever like that. It's like oh my god. It's like I've 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 seen like this like like this 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 double agent shit. You know, like, oh, apparently, like, what they're doing is not really for, for the greater crew of mankind. Like, I've seen this shit from fucking Winter Soldier. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, honestly, uh, I, I think I think that, that could be executed much, much better if it's, um, if it's written a little bit better, too, you know. Uh, but, man, it, it just, it just, it just comes off as really really um lame honestly because the thing is like they 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 play the movie straight that's the problem too i i don't really know why they they play the movie as straight as as possible even though the the element that they set up is actually kind of self-referential like they know this is stupid but they just go along with it yeah, right something like hot fuzz you know they play, it, yeah, in the way they play strip, but they, they, they still keep up like this, this over energetic like tone throughout the whole film. So it, it makes, it gives you the impression that, oh, yeah, these these are a character that they kind of probably know that they're characters at this point, but they just roll with it, you know? They just roll with, roll with the ridiculousness and then it just fits the whole movie. Like Deadpool. Uh, well, that, well, Deadpool is a different, different, a different beast, but still. Uh, yeah, you get my point. It's like they, 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 they play a little bit too, 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 too straightforward. I'd say, um, because the material is 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 really really stupid. To be honest with you, it's very fucking stupid. Actually, even I'd say this: birds of prey, right? At least at least birds of prey and the what the fantabulous emancipation of, emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Oh my god, that movie is so hard to say. But still, that movie doesn't 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 take itself seriously, and it's and it goes as over the top as much as, as as it can guess what it fucking works it fucking actually works and i actually really enjoy that i i actually do enjoy that surprisingly um it's not a great film no i have problems with that too and there are like completely different kind of problems but at least that one um like okay harley quinn is acting like really really, really super silly over the top and stuff and all the other characters are playing like kind of stereotypes but the thing is they 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 play like really over the top so it just makes them look even stupider right it's stupid it, it just makes them makes them look way way dumber than they actually are you know in the co like based on the comics so so it works it works and guess what um the, it, it matches the, it matches with the with the tone even the even the story and stuff is actually kind of stupid but i think it's I think it, I think it was designed to be stupid because um as in um I'm 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 saying like it is as, as in like stupid as in the the storytelling of um like what's what's going on with the story with Birds of Prey because it's it's, it's basically about like uh, um they're trying to um get a the, get this diamond out of this girl's like bowel. <laughs> Like in the most painless way possible, and then they try to hide it, uh, and store it far away from Black Mask. It's a, it's a, it's a very, very Silver Age, you know, comic book plot line. But the way they do it is super over the top that it just somehow fucking works with the film, and and guess what? Actually, that one stick stick with me more compared to this, which is surprising. Um, so yeah, I don't know much about the characters that were, that were presented, but like maybe a little bit, but honestly, no, not a lot. The jokes, it's all, oh my God, fuck me. I don't know what happened here. The, the jokes aren't even that funny. I barely laugh. Okay. Here's, here's the thing. Even, even if, if I'm watching by myself, I still laugh at like 
jokes that are actually hilarious to say, oh, okay, yeah, that's really funny. I will laugh. Ha ha ha. Right. Well, I, this is not how I actually laugh, but you got, I mean, you, you get the point. I don't find it very humorous. That's, 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 that's the, that's the, another, another thing that I, I noticed from this movie. It's not, it's not a very humorous movie. I didn't laugh as much. I did think most of the jokes are kind of flat. So they kind of like time it in the way that, oh, so, haha, this, this is insert the joke. Okay, pause. One, two, three. Okay, reaction time from um, the character. Yeah, it's like, uh, whatever. It's, it's, such, it, 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 it's such a Marvel thing that somehow just makes its way here. It, it, it just doesn't fucking work, honestly. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it can in like like okay like Shazam. Let's say Sh Shazam is kind of a Marvel film in a way. But hey, that movie they played straight and it's a, it's, it's it's very very wholesome of like with its theme and the way they execute like the whole plot. It's like 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 the whole plot itself. It's very it's 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 pretty mature. Uh, surprisingly speaking, and. When you leave the theater, you leave, you left that like, oh wow, that, that that that's actually such a very inspiring movie that I might actually want to recommend to people. Even I might want to see that movie again with the people that I recommend with. Not with this though, at least not for me. I I don't know. I, I it's such a weird thing, you know, because I I expect I would like this, but apparently it's like the complete opposite. Even though I still I, I would still give the movie like a six out of ten, you know. It's still pretty good, but um, actually now I'm thinking about maybe it's closer to a five outside. I don't know, man. It's like, I don't know. I expect, I expect a bit more from probably like my my boy James Gunn. Maybe 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 the, the, this movie is just like ah, I'm just gonna pay my bills. You know, DC needs me, and like oh, they need me now. Okay, but I don't really care about the project, so I guess I guess I'm just gonna wing whatever I have in, huh? I don't know. It, it doesn't, it doesn't really come out as like very sincere compared to his uh, past works, which is way more genuine and sympathetic. And you actually do care about the characters that he built up from the start. So yeah. And, and and you know what? Okay, let me, let me let me check the check the time. How long have I been speaking? Thirty seven minutes. Yeah, I haven't even fucking talked about this uh, like the original Suicide Squad, but I don't think I'm gonna talk about that um, today. So I'm pretty fucking tired now. My God. Oh, God damn it. Uh, I really really. I really wish. I really wish it, it, there's there's some sort of improvement, but no. Somehow the movie it's it's like it's like it's like the movie somehow gets like better and worse, better and worse, better and worse. I, um, throughout, so there's like something that I like a lot, then there's like another thing. Like, oh, what the fuck is this? Like, okay, it's kind of it kind of sucks to be honest. So whatever. Uh. I'm sorry, James Gunn, but honestly speaking, I think, I think, I, I think you can do a little bit better, better than this. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, as in like the, the, the way you write the script, I, I think, I think you probably need someone to help you with that, you know, the, the direct, the, 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 the directing part and all this stuff, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's, it's pretty good, um, it's very good to be honest. Yeah, if if some if somebody just sit down with him, and like, okay, let's fix on the script together, because I don't think this is ready to be filmed yet. Um, I think we have a movie a lot, but yeah, I'm very excited to see what DZ has to offer. Um, believe it or not, even though I don't like like like, like this movie in particular, but I'm quite interested with the other installments in the future. So I'll, I'll keep a look out on that. And, the, and, and I mean, I sound like a DC fan, but honestly, I kind of am. Because I, I grew up with like the cartoons even as a kid. 
compared to like the Marvel stuff. I mean, I I, I still like the Marvel movies even. I kind of actually want to see Shang Chi at, at this point because I thought it was, it was gonna suck, but apparently like, people have been praising the shit out of this like for for a long time, and I'm thinking that maybe I should should give this movie a chance. Maybe I, I might actually like this one. So, yeah. Thank you very much for listening, and um, hopefully you have a great, great day ahead of you.